Today, the International Criminal Court issued a warrant of arrest for the arrest of Omar Hassan Hamad al-Bashir, the president of Sudan, for war crimes and crimes against humanity. I'm Nicholas Kristof of the New York Times, and this is historic. The first time the International Criminal Court has called for the arrest of a sitting head of state. He's charged with mass murder, extermination, rape as a weapon of war, and other crimes against humanity. It's about time, and it may help end the culture of impunity that has allowed such atrocities to unfold time and again. A little boy named Bakit would have clapped if he only had hands. I met Bakit last month outside a camp for displaced people in eastern Chad, near the border of Darfur. Bakit is just one casualty of Bashir's brutal tactics. When Bashir financed and armed a force of Chadian rebels to overthrow Chad's government, some of the fighting took place near Bakit's hut. He and a few friends found a live grenade and started playing with it. It exploded, taking Bakit's hands, one eye, and half of his face. For victims like Bakit, President Obama and other leaders need to back up the ICC arrest warrant. They need to let Sudan and other countries know that there is a price to pay for such behavior. Many of Darfur's refugees whom I talk to agree. Bashir is the cause of all the criminal behavior inside Sudan and out. Barack Obama has to agree with the decision of the ICC and has to support them and capture Bashir without delay. In Sudan, Bashir has tried to rally citizens to his defense. As Sudanese citizens, we will reject the decision of Ocampo and we will not give up the president. Ocampo will have to take all of Sudan as well. But there are whispers in Khartoum, the dusty Sudanese capital, that senior officials are thinking about throwing Bashir under the bus now that the arrest warrant has been issued. We can encourage that by working with other countries to back up the court. We should push China to cut off arms transfers to Sudan. We should call on other countries to arrest him if he visits. And we should make very clear that if he bombs civilians, we will take out his military aircraft. Look, I don't know that we can end genocides, but we can take a few wobbly steps toward accountability and deterrence. And that just may reduce the chance of the next one. So we should applaud the ICC's latest move on behalf of children like Bakit, who can't. For The New York Times, I'm Nicholas Kristof.